Hello everyone. Today we are starting our DLD course which is Digital Logic Design. Now we are in the chapter 1 we will discuss about digital system and binary numbers. So first of all what is digital system? A digital system is an interconnected of digital models. To understand the operation of each digital model we use the digital system. The application of digital system is given here. The digital circuit replaces many analog systems such as audio recording, image processing, telephone switching and control of machine mechanical systems. Now the binary logics we already have no in binary section we have two digits one is zero and another one is one so binary logic consists of binary variables and set of logical operations here are two values which are zero and one in the section first we have the add the in the end section we need to multiply this operation replaced by a dot or by a absence of an operator for example we have x dot y which is equals to z in and section you need to have both of the section that means you need to have the value of x and also y that is why it is known as and a and b c and d it works like this one and in and section it does the multiplication condition. In the OR section, the operation is designed for the plus section. In this section, we use OR x plus y. If we have one value, that means if the value of x is 0 and y is 1, then the result will be 1. But if it was AND, then the result will be 0 into 1, which will be 0. So that's why AND works for like as the multiplication and OR works for the addition. We use NOT to just change the value. If you input 0, then after NOT you will get 1 and if you put 1, you will get 0. In this section, you can easily understand that in this AND section, we have 0 multiplied by 0, we have 0. 0 multiplied by 1, which is 0. 1 multiplied by 0 which is 0 1 multiplied by 1 which is 1 and in this addition section which is denoted by or 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 and 1 plus 1 which is again 1 and we have a 0 in our hand now logic gates in this section we have the diagram of AND gate which looks like this the OR gate looks like this one and the NOT gate which looks like this one those are known as the logical gates now we are in the chapter 2 which is boolean algebra and logical gates a set of element a set of element is any collection of objects usually having a common property if S is a set and X and Y are its objects then notation that X such that S means that X is the member of set S that's why a set of element is denoted in binary operation we have some postulates Postulates is also sometimes called the axioms. In this session, you can easily understand by some rules. In identify section, we need to have A, then plus means the OR connection with 0. That's why if, if you, you have 0 here, then you should let the A value is 1. So that's why we can say 1 plus 0, which is 1. So a plus 0 becomes a and 0 into 1 will become 0 that is why a into 1 
becomes A, which is the identify. Then the complement section. In this complement section, we need to add or or with its own complement. That's why if you let the value of A here is 1, then its not section will be 0. So 1 plus 0 will become 1. That's why the result is 1. In this section, you assume the result of A is 0. Then after not, it will become 1. So 0 into 1 will become 0. That's why the result is 0 in complement section. Now, we are in the commutative law. In this section, we have A plus B, which is equals to B plus A. A into B is equals to B into A. Now, the associative one. Here we have A plus then BRC in the bracket. We can easily write A plus B in a bracket and C is different from them. Also for multiplication, this rule is known as associative law. And distributive law is to for the distribution section. Here we have A plus B and C are in the bracket. So we can write it as A plus B then into section which is this one and then we can write A plus C. This is the distributed law. You can have snap of those law because those are very important. Now the closest section. Closest section it starts from if there is the clean closer then it will start from the if silent section but if there is positive closer it will start from one a set of closer respects is the binary operation is for every pairs of the element in S we have already discussed about those law a field is an example of an algebraic structure as like as this one is a field complement of functions complement is just the opposite section of the function if you have a equals to 0 then if you complement that you will get the result 1 that means interchange of zeros for ones and ones for zeros of value f is the complement function here we have discussed about some another forms which are not very much important in your examination but if you want to read you can have a snap of this one sum of production means the boolean expression contains the n term which call the production term one or more in literal h that means f equals to y bar plus x plus y plus x bar y z this is a sum of production because in this section first of all we have the sum here we have the sum the sum then we get the sum by this production because here x y and z are making a production then this production is added with x y which is another production so here we use the sum of production means first we generate the productions by multiplication the end function and then we generate the sum that's why here we use first the end term then the odd one. Now, the production or sum of max term. Max term means the maximum value of production and sum. That's for today. Thank you.